has pursued that. Um, become much more altruistic. I know many a stockbroker, um, many a wife who's not real happy with her stockbroker husband who now wants to write poetry on the beach. <laughs> and she's used to two cars, three boats, you know, she's living the life. And he said, I don't care about any of that stuff anymore. I, I want to study spirituality. I want to do this. One of them is from a very famous family, a potato chip family. And he called me and he said, my family thinks I'm absolutely crazy because I don't care about their money. I don't care about money anymore. And I want to do this, that, and another thing. And he said, will you call my brother and tell him I'm not crazy? And I said, well, were you crazy before you had the experience? Because that could be a problem. <laughs> and he said, I don't think so. But um, it is difficult. That's why there's so many divorces among experiencers. Because real hard, it takes a big person to step up and really understand this huge transformation. Um, one of the Iraqi vets that I've been working with, and he didn't know he'd had a near-death experience. I noticed it out of the after effects. But I also noticed, you know, kind of the raging and the frustration and the focus on purpose. But he's married and has three kids. And his wife wanted him to come back from Iraq and flick the switch and be the same great guy he was before he went. And he isn't. And they're trying to work it out, but it's, it's tough. 